Hello children. Hope you are all safe. This class is a continuation of your previous class in which we have learned the poem A Night in June by William Wordsworth. In this class we will discuss the question answers from the poem. So let's start. Answer the following questions. A. How are the stars appearing in the sky? Answer. The stars are appearing in the sky by twos and threes. It indicates that few stars are twinkling in the sky. B. Have the birds stopped their singing? Answer. No, the birds have not stopped their singing. They are still twittering on a melodious note. Number C. Where are the little birds? Answer. The little birds are among the bushes and trees. D. What sounds can be heard? Answer. The chirping of the little birds, the singing of one or two thrushes, the rushing sound of the distant wind, the rolling sound of the running water and the shrieking sound of the cuckoo can be heard. Number E. What fills the sky? Answer. The unbounded and unrestricted cry of the cuckoo fills the sky. Question number 8. Why do you think the stars appear in the way described in the poem? Answer. The stars are appearing in the way described in the poem because after the setting of the sun there is Still some diffused light in the sky. With the advancement of the night, the sky will become more gloomy and more stars can be visible. G. Why do you think the poet calls the cuckoo's cry sovereign? Answer. The poet calls the cuckoo's cry sovereign because the cuckoo sings profusely without any restriction. It pours its heart out spontaneously and establishes the superiority of its cry over all other natural sounds just like that of a ruler. Question number two. Answer the questions about this line from the poem. The little birds are piping it. This sentence means the birds are still piping even though it is late. What time of day is it? It is a night. Where are the birds piping? The birds are piping among the bushes and trees. What kinds of birds are mentioned in the poem? Little birds, a cuckoo and one or two thrushes are mentioned in the poem. Question number three. Note down the rhyming words in the poem. The rhyming words in the poem are set, yet, trees, Trees, thrushes, rushes, gushes, and cry, sky. Question number four. Do the rhyming words form a pattern? Yes, the rhyming words form a pattern. The pattern is A, B, A, B, C, 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 D, D. Question number 5. Find the odd one out in each of the following list. A. 
set, met, det, get, get, eat, threat. Eat. Number B. Freeze, ease, peace, trees, freeze, peace, breeze. Peace. Number C. Rushes, gushes, bushes, crashes, flashes, thrushes. Bushes. Number D. Die, sky, fry. Die, sky, cry, fry. High, knee, buy. Knee. Here, the odd ones do not rhyme with the others. Now let us come to make sentences. Here I have written some sentences for you, but you can also write sentences of your own. Set. The surgeon set her broken arm. Far off. Binoculars magnify far off objects. Among. The bees were buzzing among the flowers. Gushes. Water gushes out from the fountain during rainy season. Hollow. The tree trunk was hollow inside. Come to page number 21. Can you write out the following clearly? Separate the words and put up full stop at the end of each sentences. Here we have to use proper punctuation mark. I have done it for you. I am reading it out. A long time ago, people wrote without putting any breaks between words. Semicolon. Here I have used the punctuation mark semicolon. This made reading very difficult. Here I have used full stop. You can see what I mean from this example. Full stop. It is better to separate the words and sentences. Full stop. Question number two. Use yet and rewrite the following. Sentence A. The man has still not finished the walk. Here, we have to remove the word still and add yet at the end of the sentence. So what will be the answer? The answer will be the man has not finished the work yet. Sentence B. Prema has still not told her parents. Here also we will have to remove the word still and add yet at the end of the sentence. So, so the answer will be Prema has not told her parents yet. Here I have solved A and B for you and the rest are done for you in the PDF which will be attached with this video. Underline the verbs in the following. Question number 4. In the very first class of this session we have already learned about Verb. We know verbs are action words. Here we have to underline the verbs. Sentence A. Once upon a time there was a man who lived in a village. So here the verbs are was and lived. Sentence B. One day in the forest he was chopping down a tree for his fire. Here was chopping is the verb. That's all for today. Children, please download the PDF at us with this video and write the question answers in your copy and go through it. Thank you.